Hi, my name is Ali Mizan, and today I will be giving a demonstration of a simulation that me and my partners came up with for our Neuro Evolution class. The simula this is a simulation of 3 versus 2 RoboCup Keep Away Soccer. And what that is, is a test bed that AI researchers use to develop algorithms. So the idea of Keep Away is very simple. You have three keepers that are trying to maintain possession of a soccer ball and you have two takers that are simply trying to take the soccer ball. And uh, there are a total of three AI algorithms that me and my partners implemented. We implemented NEAT, Neuro Evolution of Augmenting Topologies, HyperNEAT, which is a more powerful and more general version of NEAT. And we attempted to implement novelty search, but our results weren't good for that one. And we also have a hand-coded agent that we implemented as a baseline comparison to everything that we did. And also the simulation itself, we wrote it entirely from scratch using Python and the Pygame library. And the AI algorithms were implemented using the library Multineat. So um, the first agent that I'm going to demonstrate is the hand-coded agent. So now, first, um, I will before I even talk about the hand-coded agent, I should probably talk about what's going on over here. So, an agent, whether it's hand-coded, whether it's a hand-coded agent or one of the three AI agents, they there's only one uh, agent that's ever in control. There's not three different agents. We have three keepers on the field, but all three keepers are being controlled by one agent, and the agent is only active when one of the keepers is in possession of the ball. Uh, the reason for this is because all of the movement for a 3v2 keep away, all of the movement is deterministic. And so the, a, the uh, agent, whatever agent is in control, simply decides whether to maintain possession of the ball or, to, or whether it should pass to a teammate. And then the takers over here, the red guys, these are 100% deterministic all the time. Um, the taker that's closer to the ball is going to simply run straight for the ball, and the taker that's farther from the ball will simply try to block the will try to block a keeper that's more open. And also, you'll notice these dots on the field. Um, these dots represent information that's being fed to the agent. So the agent is aware of all of these different coordinates and these blue dots over here represent coordinates which form a path to a teammate and these red dots represent coordinates that form a path to a taker. So let's watch the, uh, the hand-coded agent. The hand-coded agent we designed, um, it simply maintains possession of the ball until a taker is within 100 pixels away and when a taker is too close it simply passes to the more open teammate. This policy uh, eventually fails because the keepers get closer and closer together until the takers end up running towards the ball and intercepting it. Okay, so the next agent I want to demonstrate would be NEAT. So what NEAT does is that it exploits the fact that the keepers um, can oscillate their behaviors. Sorry, it exploits the fact that the takers can can switch their behaviors. Um, so as you can see here, each taker is alternating between running after the ball and blocking the teammate. Which is in a noise-free environment, this would be an optimal policy that goes on forever. However, since a uh, keep away requires the agent sensor to agent sensors to have some noise, eventually this will terminate, but I'm not going to wait for this to eventually terminate. But yeah, over the course of generations, there was a member in the population that was found to uh, oscillate this behavior until eventually it terminates. The next agent I want to show is HyperNeat, which is a little bit more interesting. So previously, uh, we've seen that both NEAT and the hand-coded agent, they do fairly well, but the AI agent only has to choose three options, hold the ball, 
maintain possession of the ball. Sorry, uh, maintain possession of the ball or pass the ball to teammate one or pass the ball to teammate two. Hyperneed is more general. Um, so, in in hyperneed, uh, the dots you see on the on on the screen do not represent inputs to the AI agent, but now instead, the AI agent is a neural network, and each dot on the field represents the output of a neural network. And so if the output for a particular coordinate is 1.0, then it's a coordinate that the AI agent says, hey, it's an OK coordinate to pass to. But if the activation is 0.0, then the AI agent recognizes that, hey, I should not pass to this area. So Hibernate has the ability to take um, advantage of very, has, a, has the advantage to, has the advantage that it can take care of it can recognize regularities in the geometry of the field and then come up with a more general strategy. And so because it has this ability, it can find a more general policy. It doesn't have to either hold the ball or pass directly to teammate one and pass directly to teammate two. It can actually pass in any, it can actually learn to pass in any general direction and do fairly well. Okay, so this is Hibernate, and the next AI agent that I'm going to demonstrate is Novelty Search, which didn't actually perform so well. We don't think that this is a, f a problem with Novelty Search, but I th we had some trouble implementing the, uh, the phenotype of the novelty search population members, hence why we're getting the poor, poor, the poor performance for novelty search. But this isn't, this doesn't indicate that novelty search is bad, but that our novelty search algorithm needs some refining. Um, anyways, this was a quick demonstration of our project. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.